Here is once again the faulty 1980 Notemende CD1000 cassette deck. To understand this video, please watch the previous video first. Link in the video description. The faulty IC is now socketed so that I don't stress the circuit board anymore with soldering. But now it's time for a little experiment. Pin 5 and pin 6 are now disconnected from the circuit. And on the bottom of the board, a wire bridge has been installed from pin 5 to pin 2. Looking at the schematic, what I have done is I have disconnected pin 5 and pin 6 of the IC and connected pin 5 to pin 2 on the board. So I have bypassed the faulty input stage and the multiplex filter. The multiplex filter is not really necessary and it's going to cause signal losses, which of course we absolutely don't need since we've already lost the amplification at the input of the IC. This is a question a few people asked in the comments of the previous video. What happens if you just bypass the faulty input stage of the Dolby IC? Let's find out. Power has been applied. Everything seems fine so far. Oh, I can hear something. Yep, that is a clean signal. It's a very quiet signal too. Let's try to match the other channel to that. Yep, that, that is looking good. Of course, the massive loss of amplification is going to be a problem on playback. If I play back this cassette, of course, most of the signal by far is coming out of the right channel. To hear anything coming from the left channel, I have to disconnect the right channel and turn up the volume. So, also playback does work, it's just totally out of balance. So, there you have it, a totally silly experiment, but it had to be done. And hey, it did work. A little bit. Thank you for watching.